let's get to the real thing. Hey, hello, what's up and what's happening? My name is Taco22122, and today I'm bringing you some sniping gameplay by Total Deepox. He's a great sniper, and he's new on YouTube. If you guys could go, please check out his channel and watch some of his videos. He has a whole bunch of sniping gameplay. The link to his channel will be down below in the description. And today, you guys may have noticed that the video is a lot more smaller, and I included two borders. On the right side, you will be able to see his class setup and on the left side you can see the kills that's in streak he's using the PSG one with extended mags and the CZ 75 also extended mags and I added the left side because a lot of people will lose track of the kills and deaths and I I don't claim this idea at all I got this from another video and I thought it was pretty creative so I decided to make my own kinda of thing and I tried to sync it up as much as I could to the video so that it looks really good and well done if you guys want to watch a tutorial on how to do it then just leave a whole bunch of comments on my video and I will try to make one as soon as possible if I get enough comments today I want to talk to you guys about map packs and what I think Treyarch can do in the future and what kind of maps would I like designed and this conversation was started up by me and my friend he was talking about some crazy shit like making multiplayer maps in space and having space monkeys fly out of nowhere just like on ascension but I was thinking more realistic and I was trying to bring up facts about what Treyarch has done in the world at war map packs and one of the biggest ideas that I thought Treyarch could pull off and something that I would really like is if they made a multiplayer map that is based off an area that's an underwater base sort of thing I think Treyarch can take some of the parts from their final mission of Black Ops and kind of combine it to make a map for multiplayer. I mean, they did it with Kowloon, and it just seems like something that is possible. To me, I think they can balance out the close quarter combat and open space area because they have done it before in the past. In World at War, they created a map called Station, and it was basically a train station that was kind of destroyed by the war. At first when I heard about this map I thought that it was just going to be all close quarter combat and just a whole bunch of submachine guns and shotguns but it turned out to be a great map and I really enjoyed playing on that map because the sides of the map and the narrow ends of the map were all close quarter but the middle area was just very open and it had a whole bunch of creative features in it. I think Treyarch can balance out the close quarter combat areas and also balance out and include some open area space maybe like a control room in the underwater base or something like that and have a couple of hallways and narrow ends like the different station I think this is a map that can be done and I know Treyarch can pull it off because there's proof that they have been able to pull it off before in the past and I just want to leave you guys with some questions like what do you think would be a great map design and like kind of bring up some facts that Treyarch has done before and where would they get some of the design from because I know some gaming developers and map designers do get a little bit lazy so they might just bring up some multiplayer uh, maps that were based off a single player uh, campaign level. And I mean, I'm fine with that, but as long as you guys can balance it out to make it into a creative multiplayer stage that is actually fun to play on, then I have no problem with that. Tell me what you guys think Treyarch can work on and how they can kind of produce your ideas and bring them to life. And what kind of map ideas do you have, basically? Leave your comments down below in the comment section, and if you guys have some like really creative ideas I promise I will post them up on my next video as a shout out and I will give you guys some thanks and some feedback about what I think about your ideas and it's just all based on opinions nobody should get hurt at all and I mean we can kind of fight over our own opinions but at the same time it's not going to get us anywhere so be respectful to each one's comments and thumbs up people that have creative ideas and don't thumbs down at all because I really don't want any of that drama on my channel. So it goes 32 and 2. 
and if you guys want to go check out his channel again the link will be down below in the description here's a couple of shout outs this is a new feature on my channel i hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more commentary and peace